Hey guys and welcome back to another memory plan with me, finally. <laughs> but today I'm memory planning for the week of March 1st through the 7th and the kit I'm using was I believe called Simplicity by Vanilla Paper Co. But as always I'm going to put down a base and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I really don't want to ramble on too much, but some of you guys know that I just recently opened up my own Etsy shop actually on April 9th and that's why I've been gone from filming plan with me for a little bit. I was already behind before that, but that had also to do with the shop for preparations and stuff like that, but I will try my best to catch up as soon as possible because I do really miss decorative planning in general. All I've been doing is basically cutting stickers and just shop related things and then of course being a mom since you know I do still have three kids at home but yeah I'm really excited to getting back into it I'm also planning to have up a pre-plan with me next Monday so I will talk a little bit more about the shop then but quickly let me talk about the sidebar so the sidebar everything is from the kit besides the dividers on the um, plain headers those dividers are actually in my shop they are the squiggle dividers and 
Also, what I've been doing in this planner, this is the new planner I was mentioning a while ago. This is the Sadie Stickers planner that I moved into to continue my memory spreads in. And because it is undated, there's obviously another month at the top corner. So I know a lot of people have been doing that for a long time, but I always had a month or I used a month in the recollections that was already there. But I actually made my own script stickers just for those corners up there. Um, so that was what that was. And then the bouquet is also from my shop that I used um, with the month. But quickly, let me catch up with Monday now. Um, the Hello March script was from Wild Summer Designs and the divider from Letters from Lay. And then to mark that it was my husband's birthday, I used balloons from a paper shire. I think that was a freebie from her Facebook group um, and then the flourish um, was from a sticker guru which I do have a code for sticker guru that is Jana 15 and then um, to mark that I actually had to buy my husband's birthday cake um, that is an icon also from my shop but that is that is part of my hand-drawn icons um, and then that evening we also had Panda Express and that again is from Paper Shire and the Flourish is from Letters from Lay. Then moving on to Tuesday to mark that I was organizing my office and you know I was working on preparing everything for the shop. Um, I used a mandala, a half mandala again from my shop. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of my shop things. Um, just letting you know in advance um but again that other icon is from paper shire that i layered on top of the half mandala and then i did some designing that day and for that i used a laptop from planning roses and the squiggle <laughs> i like to call them squiggles that one is also from that is from lay and then i did um i made a new playlist that day um a new a cape or not a new but i made a k-pop playlist sorry my chair is making noises um but yeah i used a what is that a tape um a cassette tape i don't know the english word <laughs> i'm blanking right now but i just used that from paper shy to mark that i made a new playlist on spotify which i actually just recently moved back oh, goodness what is wrong with my chair but i actually just recently moved back to apple music i don't know i always have these phases sometimes i stay with spotify and i switch back to apple music it's just i don't know it's an endless endless thing going on with me um but then i also used a divider that i made for myself that is not yet in the shop into mark that I did some two dollar Tuesday shopping. I used a shopping bag from White Day Stationery, and I'm out of breath. I have not done a voiceover in a very long time. But anyways, on a Wednesday, I was foiling for the very first time, um, and for that, I used a printer and a silhouette machine from. Uh, where is that from? I forgot what it's from. Ugh, it's such a big shop. I will put it on the screen. Um, but also the half mandala is also from my shop. I do have currently eight different ones in my shop. And um, yeah, to mark that I actually received the mink machine or the foiling machine that day, I used an Amazon bag from White Deer Stationery and then a lace trim also from my shop, which was actually my latest release was some lace trims. Um, and then we also got a new vacuum that day. So I used a vacuum from White Day Stationery and a um, squiggle from my shop actually. But uh, that one um, is a little bit bigger. That was just a test one that I made for myself a while ago. Um, but yeah, then I just cleaned up that day and that icon is from the JP Studio. And also the little leaves deco is also not yet in shop that I, I did make that myself as well, but probably coming in the future. <laughs> now I'm finally on a Thursday. Um, I placed a paper shire order actually very late at night. I don't know. I was bored. I couldn't sleep. So I went on paper shire and placed a big order. <laughs> That's what happened, but I used some bouquets also from my shop and the phone from Paper Shire. Lots of Paper Shire in my shop this week, I guess. <laughs> um, but Shiny also had a comeback. Shiny is a South Korean group. 
and um, the headphones are also from my hand drawn icons as well as the K-pop comeback script which are actually going to release tomorrow because some people were asking about my K-dramas and K-pop related scripts um, obviously that's not everyone's cup of tea but I made them for myself anyway so you know if you want it um, it'll be available in the shop and then I actually paired two half mandalas also from my shop together to create a circle because the paper shire icon is very, very big, but it's basically like an office scene. And again, um, I was setting up my new office and just re rearranging, reorganizing, all that good stuff. Um, and I don't know, I feel like it looks very extra, but it also looks very cute. I don't know. <laughs> but to the fact that I also did my eyebrows that day, I used... Um, a icon from um, Christ by Towie and on Friday again the divider is from my shop and then now I'm marking that I made a new k-pop playlist what was Tuesday then <laughs> I don't I forgot I don't know what that um, that tape or cassette thing was for on Tuesday I don't know where my notes went but anyways, I guess I made my K-pop playlist on a Friday and that phone is also from my um, my hand-drawn icon that is available in my shop. Um, I also filmed that day. I filmed a lot of bass, like me putting down the bass, but I have yet to finish those spreads. So those will all come in the near future, hopefully. But that camera is from Artbox Stickers. And again, that little squiggle is also from my shop that is now available. And then um, we actually went to the playground that day for the very first time since the whole pandemic broke out. And for that, I just used this little, what are these called? The, the things where you can get toys out. <laughs> because I don't really have a playground icon. I should probably draw some. Um, but I did something new. I always see Rachel from Gather Plans layering these these bow checklist with icons or with flourishes or something and just you know use it like that and I don't know I just wanted to give it some background so that's what I did there and then that leaves flourish that I also made for myself that is not yet in shop um, I'm just trying out a lot of things that I eventually want to have in the shop so when I say it's not yet in the shop but I am using it in a planner that probably means that it will come someday in the future um, but I also did some more designing that day and again that laptop was from um, planning roses and then on Saturday I did the same thing as I did on a Thursday with um, a different half mandala and again another paper shire icon to mark more reorganizing I basically reorganized the whole office uh, so I can fit my new desk which the new desk came in that Saturday and I'm so in love I showed this on my Instagram it's kind of like an L-shaped desk but I have so much room now and it's been absolutely perfect for filming and you know shot related things so um, that desk is from the GP studio and again the flower bouquet is from my shop and then I actually uploaded a video that day and that YouTube play button is from Artbox stickers and the flourish is from letters from lay and then we had a movie night but I cannot remember what movie we watched <laughs> it's been over a month now and almost two months now so yeah I have no idea what movie we watched but you guys know we watch a lot of movies on the weekend um, but Sunday I did the, kind of the same thing as I did on Monday I used this flourish from um sticker guru i'm pretty sure and the printer from white deer stationery to mark that i was printing out um a lot of things for the shop and like test printing and seeing about the size and stuff like that and then i also went grocery shopping and that grocery um, icon is also a hand-drawn icon from my shop and then um, I did some Trulia research um, on a Trulia app, which um, is where you can look up houses. You can also look up apartments, but mainly houses and kind of like get a feel of the housing market and stuff. And um, my husband and I were planning on buying a house probably next year. We were planning on this year, but to be honest, it's a little bit stressful now because we have to renew our lease until June. 
and or may actually may june i think okay june um and you obviously have to give them a 60 day notice if you do move out and we actually decided um that we are going to move to atlanta so that is going to be a bigger move well you know I'm just going to put it out there. I don't know 1000% if we're really going to move, but it's definitely a wish of ours. Um, not like city center Atlanta, but like outskirts Atlanta. So, um, yeah, it just would have been too stressful. You know, Atlanta is two hours from here and obviously you have to find a house and then go through the whole process of applying, getting accepted, you know, money here, money there and all of that stuff. So we're taking our time with it and um, we're going to stay here for another year because month to month, if you don't, you know, sign another 12 month contract, it's just too much. It's way too much. Like the price is so much higher. Um, so we're just going to sign another 12 month lease. But that's what I did on Sunday to kind of look at the housing market up in Atlanta and that icon was from Paper Shire and Deep Bouquet was actually from uh, Sticker Guru. And then I tried out a new recipe and that cock prod was from White Deer Stationery. <laughs> but here's the full spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys hopefully in the next one. Bye.